Can you hear me? Is audio working? Good. Just wait five, seven years. Just waiting some more for some more people to show up in this very crowded mini lab I have. Stay from the exterior and know how small this place is. So, and can you hear my fluke continuity beep? As it is kind of important this time. Good. Well, 11, yes, it is 11. And Welcome to my very small, tidy, not so tidy, tiny lab. And uh, you're not used to do this, but uh, hell, let's do it. Okay. This is an uh, old piece of PPC board that someone tried to remove the O40 with a heat gun and this bad camera, but you can maybe see that burn marks here and the PCB is pretty swollen. Same here, you can see that that's light area here. Uh, it's just blown PCB, but the match, match strips should work. And just to try that, we probe that one. That's a clock output, and it should be coming out here somewhere. Uh, yeah, working layer. And we can also, for the sake, take the ground here and beeps just nicely this is the bc the ppc board that i soldered actually the next shape from that board and i've done one jumper wire here so you can use the same oscillator for the ppc and the 060 uh, the ppc is not there but it should work anyway because i have a uh, uh, cosmos rom here that uh, works without the ppc but that's not the issue. Uh, here we have the ground pin, and here another ground pin, and it's totally dead. Here we have the output pin of the oscillator, and should go, yep, and that means we have so many layers as this pin, if you look in a microscope that I can't show. Um, that's in the inner layer, you, you can't see anything on the top and bottom traces here. So some inner layers, yes, are working, and that's what I verified. And uh, yeah, there it is. And that's what I verified. So okay, inner layers is working. But then uh, when I connected this one to my 1200 and my diagram, just yes, so, Test. There are some decoupling caps that's not there, but should work, but uh, maybe unstable, and it gave me illegal instruction. And okay, I have a bad solder joint or something, and that's, this is, is quite tight solder. Uh, but I felt that the PCB was quite cold, and I removed the CPU just so fun and got illegal instruction. How can you get an illegal instruction without any CPU? That means something from and I checked more, and first I checked no power as my clear camera, my my uh, clear camera didn't show anything but the blackboard. And the BPC is known to be very hot, actually so hot that it more or less gets white here. Um, so I checked. Oh, we have no power. So here's the power rails working. And I have a picture on my computer here with a ground pins on the CPU, like here, not working. Let's take the busted board. Strange. 
here on the bolt regulators we have a ground there and we have ground there working and you can drag here and this is a busted board remember this and we have some beeps on on right and we take this one and here and a ground pin no okay maybe i've done something wrong with this board luckily i have this board totally unsoldered nothing on it remember this is 149 euros each and it should pass quality control for production that's the only demand i had no support no warranty quality control for production so this is a quality board this is a board for quality past quality control and we do this the same here ground nothing bolt regulators there that pin and here nothing 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 stone dead we actually have some caps here i think here that pass no. because there are some ground layers on the top of the board and that's working but the inner layers ground planes are not working power plane works fine this is a power, some PowerPoints of the CPU, and they're working. You can take here, and I uh, think. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's not connected because I don't have any schematics. I don't know how it's connected internally. Yeah, because you have this. Uh, here you have a small diode or ferret board there that you select the 3.3 or 5 volt when you're doing upgrades you know i do that quite often so this should be 5 volt uh 3 volts there yes go into that one and that one powers the cpu and yeah power plane is good that's fine 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 everything is fine and we have ground there should beep nothing you take the busted board around there and oscillator yes board and this is still on the busted board even even in this area so can you please show me how to break fully board with no marks on it and make a complete ground plane disappear no marks remember this this is hard to do it always there's no marks on this one and remember we have no ground planes at all on this area none nada zip so this board is basically actually this that board is more functional than this quality pass pcb from face wipe and remember this is the ppc2 now on sale uh, or well should be on sale yeah like yesterday two days ago but hmm. so what do you think please uh i don't i have a one of my boards here and go for the one and if you have any ideas how to make this break, uh, let's see here. We should have. Uh, no. Ah, my damn fluke went off. Can we. How to break this? And it should not be visible. And there it is. And I can try to do it now. Please. Tell me in the text here. Any ideas how to break this board? And it should not show. Just complete total gun ground plane. Uh, the areas, the fan areas, actually, no, not even on the real board. They are stone dead. 
they are stone dead and so that one should work so we take this one and nope but this the ground the screw holes here should not be connected to ground it's a pad that needs a bridge well as you can see on this pcb i have removed every component it's totally removed just actually to do check that if there was a bridge needed and i forgot to do it but not even resistors on here there's nothing on this board so this is a bare board well okay the connector but you can remove it but it takes some time now to do it so well so if there was any jumper needed and frankly if it was a tiny component that needed a jumper to power the whole board wouldn't it be just press stressing that part quite much uh, yeah it would but that was an idea i had myself and uh, but apparently not so i don't know what more to say about this uh, anyone want to do more tests on this one or have i made my point pretty clear that those boards are pretty much shit and this blow board with a blowtorch something heat killing thing actually works more than a brand new pcb that passed quality control what more to say and i sent salvador a message three weeks ago that okay we have an issue this uh, i got message that he's moving office for three weeks it's a quite big company because our company with the six employees in this area uh, we moved our office four years ago and it took just some days we actually moved to racks of servers and had dismantled it because the elevator didn't take the uh, weight we did that in a six hour downtime and all i request is to him to grab two pcbs and send it to me and well i asked for one 1260 pcb because i have put some hours soldering that one and she should be knowing by now that this board is pretty much dead as this was sent to me this easter and he was had production in november you know two days ago and then he should be noticed that uh, oh we have an issue here and oh john have that board and actually when i put on pictures telling that i'm solving this one he could just send me like a private message that oh stop doing it uh, it just takes time uh, there's an issue we handle it instead i apparently have damaged this board sorry for this shitty webcam but uh, i don't know can you see any trace damages on this one any area you want me to show remember this area is totally dead on multiple places and looks fine to me actually looks pretty good and i was amazed that uh, it was really good quality board sad doesn't work so i don't think it's so much more to say about this or well do you have any more ideas or should i just close this and say goodbye and have, buy some popcorn because i'm apparently out of it it's too early for beer I think it's wait oh let me get a scale Going to the kitchen and having a scale. Can you see this? Like, like, uh,
39 grams. Um, like, let's do this. I take one of my. Nope, that's a long board box. Here, we have some unobtainable connectors, you know, and take this one and weight it, weight it to 53 grams. And we'll take the dead board, 58 grams. Really heavy solder on that border. Hmm. When I removed it, but yeah, there are some there. And oh, some spots there. Okay, I should wick it some more actually. That's, yeah, there must be some extra grams. But okay, there can be different board houses, etc. So I, I don't take that so much. And. BBC board is 1.6 and the old board is oh 1.7 but still different PCB boards etc so that's not um, that important but the fact is that this fry board is more functional and should pass more tests than this board I think it's kind of case closed. Or what do you say? Yeah. Extra connector. <laughs> sure. How many do you want? I could boost them up, right? You know, this unobtainable. But that doesn't say so much. But uh, 69 with two connectors. And 69. Ten grams more with two connectors, but what? No point of putting two connectors in there. So, nothing more to say, right? And it's quite fun, but uh, two times 149 euros fun. Not really. So, or you just could send me two PCBs, and everything would be just fine. And I was hoping that you actually could deliver this time, but sadly, no. And I've been really friendly to remember that I told you three weeks ago about this one. You didn't solve it. And this is not blackmail. Just informing people that actually this is crap. Should be really good. So the only thing you actually can do now to make some kind of money of this is put a Kickstarter out, get some money from there, open the files, Live happily, happily ever after, etc. Et that's it. Simple. Because we all love the Blizzard Phase 5 board. Sadly, the wrong person got the data. And sorry for this. And um, well, this is board that passed production quality control. Remember that. That's all my only demand. No support, no warranty, nothing. Pass quality control. Not even the Chinese would pass that one. You know, those who's faking 060s like hell, etc. Well, bye bye.